Impairment of sight? Like not seeing. Not seeing the sunrise, the flowers. Most of all, not being able to read. A total lack of, of not being able to see. But there's visual impairment where you have partial sight. Blindness. An ability to see even with corrective lenses um, well enough to navigate without aid. By the fine yeah. blinds? I don't know if I can answer that. I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Um. Uh, vision uh, so poor you cannot correct it by any means. Can't see. Um, that I am not sure because I don't know anybody that's blind, but I've seen like on TV and to me blindness oh man just I don't know not being able to see I guess loss of uh, loss of that sense of visual you can't see I would define blindness as inability to see I guess if you're physically blind and then I mean you can be metaphorically blind which I guess you know your, your mind is closed to something you know you're blind to something but I guess in most cases, if somebody told me they were blind or what is blindness, I would just say not being able to see. Um, a physical blindness is, is clear that one is unable to see the physical world with the eyes, but has a sense of recognition through um, recognition by um, um, the innate disposition to, to know that it exists, but may can't see it in a, a clear sense as I can, one can see or look at a color. Oh God, random stranger definitions are always funny. But to me, blindness is seeing things that others can't see. You've got, you know, to some people blindness is not seeing anything at all. Some people blindness is seeing gray. I myself don't see shades of gray. I'm kind of glad by that. It doesn't matter if you can't see at all or if you just lost, I don't know, 20% of your vision, like compared with everyone else, we we just aren't the same. Our vision is not the same. It's to the point where we not, maybe not accept, but we know that we just cannot see compared to everyone else. I believe that being blind is when your vision can't be corrected to 2020 or anywhere near that with contacts or glasses. Blindness more so for me is about, it's a, um, it's really being misunderstood, actually. Um, and it's an isolating feeling, especially if you're partially sighted, because people see you one way and then assume certain things about you based on your appearance or how you're presenting yourself, and that's really not the case. So there's a lot of room in there to um, for... Um, miscommunication to me it's not being able to see the writing on the chalkboard to me it's not being able to say see the street sign that's coming up in front of me and i'm literally standing under it going what the heck does that say
today we are looking at some low vision tools. In this case, I've got magic running. I do have the JAWS screen reader, screen access software also in the background. Six X. Um, magnification. Eight X. Nine X. Essentially allows Ten you X. to expand the screen and you can make several other visual enhancements such as changing the colors if a different color palette would color suit you better. You can set the pointer like I've got mine here to be enhanced so that it's easier to find on the screen. Color. If you don't like magnifying the whole screen, you cool. can Dynamic sled. choose to Over. Dynamic sled. have a split screen Over. where half of it is small and half of it is large don't personally find that at all helpful. Inside of this cell phone, we have technology to recognize and read text aloud. So I'm gonna go ahead and capture an image. Image capture. And... Taking picture. Seven inches magnifies 3.4x to 16x, slim one and five eighths inches, and weighs less than two pounds full color plus 22 possible text color combinations. And there are occasions where this will happen. Do push it on. So a lot of people don't think that people who are blind or visually impaired can cook or clean or housework in general. That's not true. I do my own cooking. I wash my own dishes. Um, I don't use tactile uh, devices uh, around my apartment. However, there are some people that do. I use computer enlargement on my Mac. I zoom in a lot. My screen is huge. My resolution is also a lot bigger too. So everyone walks by and they're like, dang. But my face is still like five inches away from the screen. Uh, first and foremost, I'm a mother. And so I have a six-year-old daughter and I have um, been staying home with her since she was born. She's just started kindergarten this year. And um, I don't really see like um, how my blindness or albinism would has changed or challenged me as a parent so much in the first couple of years. I just kept her very close by at all times and I can see, you know, when she's up close. So um, I didn't really have any challenges that way. I use a CCTV which makes things bigger and it's really small so I'll read small things like price tags or the attendance sheet. But outside of that, I don't like to look at things because it hurts. So I read Braille and I listen to my computer. I use a software called JAWS and it, it reads everything to me that people would see on a computer and I, would, I don't ever have to use a mouse at all. And secondly, I'm a visual artist, which a lot of people, when they hear that, are really surprised. It doesn't make sense how a blind person could be a visual artist. But that's what I've done my whole life. That's what I was born to do, I believe, and I love it. I'm quite good at it. I believe that too, and uh, I'll just keep doing it. My vision has affected the way I see the world, and when I think about that, like my love for art and my love for creating art, I wouldn't want to change now. Like if someone said, you know, poof, we'll give you like 2020 vision today. There's been like a, a new surgery and you can do all these things. I wouldn't take it. After everything I've been through, the struggles that I've had now that I'm where I'm at and um, the creative life that I live, it's, it wouldn't be worth it. Every day I just kind of wake up and I accept the fact that this is gonna be just another day, just another blind girl. So no matter what I have to do to get through, I will. People tell me I'm a fighter. I guess they're right. You have to fight if people expect you not to be able to do things. But I, I hear a call of a lifetime ring. 
Oh, there's so many questions that everyone asks me. Um, everyone gets the how many fingers am I holding up? When I was young, I used to say really mean stuff like, however many fingers you stick in your mom. But then I grew up and I was kind of like, how many fingers am I holding up? Someone asked me if I was from Albania. <laughs> like, that's a place. <laughs> so are you guys from the Department of Rehabilitative Services? I'm sitting back going, are you from the planet stupid? Where do you need to go? And I'll just look at them and wonder why they're yelling at me. Are you blind? Or are you pretending? Because I can see your eyes moving. Why do your eyes move all over the place? <laughs> why is your hair so white? Wait, you're blind? You can't see? Because I'm blind, does that mean that my hearing is much better? than the average person. He felt the need to tell me that people are scared of us. Um, and didn't I, didn't I know that? So, I don't really know what the purpose of that was. I'm also colorblind, so they always ask me what color things are. One time, one of my friends pulled out color swatches. That was, <laughs> that was really funny. Are you a good singer? Can you play piano? I think they're like referring to Ray Charles or Stevie Wonder. Are you wearing white so you won't get hit by cars? People sometimes ask me if I would ever want to change the way that I am or if I could get some surgery to make me better. And I always tell them like, this is who I am. Blindness is a part of me. I'm short, I'm black, I'm blind. It's just there, it's in me. If I were not blind, it would be changing everything that I am. And because I'm okay with that now, I'm 20. I've had it for 20 years. I'm not going to change it now. I especially don't want to. I feel like I was blind for a reason. And until I find out what that reason is, I'm okay with staying the way that I am. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world Yes, I think to myself